their way to see the most famous flat race in the world, the 180th Derby. And however racing fans travelled to Epsom, we all struck it rich in the matter of weather. It was a glorious day, the best and hottest of the year so far. A top hole day for tall Tidfords. First class two for feminine fashion. Of course, the Derby's almost always a beautiful day for the gents who take your money and usually make sure of keeping it. Tips, experts were fairly giving them away. If Carnoustie wins the Derby, I give you my word of honour, sir, and I've been racing 30 years and it will break my heart. It's the only business I know. I'll give up racing and I'll go to work for my living. Over to the paddock now, and soon after her arrival, Her Majesty the Queen went along to look over the runners. The Queen having a word with Dee Smith, who was riding her coat. There was a fair chance of royal victory, and the Queen and Princess Margaret gave a very cheerful wave as they walked back. The Prime Minister and Lady Dorothy Macmillan were also there. Above suspicion, the Queen's colt going out to lead the parade. Thrilling moments, glasses focused, and a little bit late, the field's away! Twenty-three-year-olds off on their testing journey of a mile and a half, and just over £36,000 waiting for the winner. Yes, it's a testing race for runners and jockeys. Here's a view of the race that proves it's not all beer and skittles riding in the derby. Jockeying for position at about 30 miles an hour and a long way to go yet. Russo's dream with Lindrick close up set the pace at this stage, but Fidalgo, Arvac, Parthia and Josephus were all in striking distance. Racing downhill to Tattenham Corner, that's one of the biggest tests of the whole race, and Russo's dream now faded away. Suddenly, out of the front ranks, like a bolt from the blue, Fidalgo, Joe Mercer up, made his bid for victory. Out in front, across to the rails, and going like a bomb. It looked as if this was certainly Fidalgo's race. Then, putting on an even faster sprint, Harry Carr brought along Parthia in a mighty challenge. Joe Mercer on Fidalgo just couldn't answer it. This was a Parthian shot with a difference. Parthia winning on Fidalgo in really magnificent style. A thrilling race and a great finish, but above suspicion, unplaced. No royal victory, alas, this year. No, Parthia's great win was a victory for Sir Humphrey de Traffer. The richest derby so far, and very nice too.